just bear with us. We're going to some light so we can say hi. We're really excited to, we're trying to do a video a day and we're going to be sharing a lot about Joshua and things that we do with him. Um, therapies that we do, everyday living, life with Joshua and autism. We're an autism family and we're just excited that we can talk to other people on social media and share things with actual people and share what we do and get the discussion going and keep the discussion going. So guys, if you're new, subscribe. We're going to be doing videos. I'm trying to do a video a day right now. Um, I will be doing three a week, but a video a day is my goal for the next, I don't know how long it's going to last, but I'm just doing these mobile videos so I can just get in the momentum of making videos. And they're going to be things about Joshua, conversations, homeschooling, um, everything from when he was diagnosed, when he was a baby, things that we noticed. Uh, I'm mommy, obviously, and I actually have my uh, degree, my bachelor degree of science in psychology and child development. So I had a little bit of a feeling when I noticed some things going on with him, but we're not talking about that now. I am going to do a video about that and when we did have him diagnosed, but check out this conversation with Joshua. It's very cool. Just to give you an understanding on the way a lot of kids with autism think and analogies and metaphors and things like that are very difficult for them. And that's why social cues, um, conversation with other people is difficult for them and a little nervous for them because they don't pick up on social cues. They don't understand uh, a lot of uh, underlining things that we do and say and something like spring is around the corner would be a difficult metaphor for him to understand so stay tuned and check out this conversation that we had and I hope you enjoy it and subscribe about what we talked about yesterday just the questions you asked me like you were wondering about what did you ask me about mm -hmm. well, Huh? I'm going to go and get the cat I put some wall. That wasn't what I was talking oh, about. I thought it was my one. <laughs> I was actually talking about what you were asking me about. Um, let's see, there was devotion. What did you know about? Yeah. Why did you want to know about that? Huh? Because mm -hmm. I want to know what it means. You wondered what devotion means? Yeah. Do you understand what it means now? Or not really? I think. What does it mean, do you think? Uh, I can't explain because I don't know. Remember, it means when somebody is willing to do something for you um, and show you their devotion. You were asking about relationships, boyfriend and girlfriend. Remember? And you said something about somebody had been rejected or something. Huh? Mm -hmm. What was that? Not sure. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it today? Yeah. Okay, then here it is. I just have a couple questions for you. Number one, I wanted to t let everybody know how it is for you to understand analogies. And you'll understand what I mean in just a minute. Okay, so like when I say something like, springs around the corner, what do you think that means? I'm not sure. You don't know what spring is right around the corner means? I uh, no, I don't know. What do you think it means? I don't know. Absolutely, I don't know. Absolutely, you don't know? Okay, so let me think of another one that um, uh, analogies that you have kind of a hard time with. Um, vice versa. Like, I love you or you love me and vice versa. Do you know what that means? The opposite way. The opposite way. Good job. That's right. That is right, honey. So, analogies are a little hard for you to get. I understand that. Um, also, there was some no other analogies that we were talking about. Well, it wasn't really analogies, but you were asking about divorce and what that meant. Um, but something that I'm really interested to know, if you know, is what puberty is. Do you know what that is? I'm not sure. You d is that something to do with you or not? That's something to do with everyone. With everyone, so you know that. That's really good. 
Do you know anything else about it or no? Hmm? No, I don't know. You don't know? So, is it something that you're going through right now, do you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel any different? Mm. Huh? No. No? Mm. What? I don't mean, know. Uh, I don't think I feel different this right now. Right now you don't feel any different. Okay, so that was quick and easy. Um, what's something else I wanted to ask you? What is a noise that bothers you really, really bad? And why does it bother you? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Huh? It's messy. Okay, well, let me ask you this. We went on the elevator the other day. Remember we had to ride up on the elevator? Yeah. What was that like for you? Uh, that looks like the elevator was about to fall. Or I'm like, I don't know if it, like, going up. Uh, I don't know everything. <laughs> so funny. Yes, my child. My child. <laughs> Felt like the elevator was what? I don't know. Well, you just said it, like it was falling? Yeah. You think the elevator is falling? Yeah. Do you like riding on elevators or no? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so here's another question. If we had to, oh, I have one more question for you. I wanted to know what you thought about your granddaddy's funeral. Do you, are you glad you went or do you wish that you hadn't gone? It was really sad. It was really sad, wasn't it? And you said a prayer to granddaddy, didn't you? Yeah. And you also wanted us to do something with granddaddy. Do you remember what that was? What? I don't know. When you saw him? in his casket and you wanted him to be somewhere else because you wanted him what? To stay here. You. you wanted him more comfortable too. Do you remember that? Yeah. You wanted to put him in a different bed? Yeah. But So that was really sad for you. Yeah. But are you glad you went or do you wish you hadn't gone? I'm glad I went. You're glad you went. So that is something uh, I struggled with. If he should, I didn't have a lot of time to, to make a decision on him not going because everybody that was in my family was going and there wasn't really anybody to leave him with and we actually left you over during the viewing we had you in a separate room and you actually came to us and asked why you couldn't go up and see your granddaddy do you remember that what do you mean when 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 we first went to see granddaddy and he was in his casket Remember everybody was going over to see him and we had you over in the side and we went let you go up there? Mm -hmm. And you told us that you wanted to see him too, that you loved him and you wanted to be, you didn't understand why we weren't allowing you to go over. Everybody else got to go, but you didn't. And it made you feel bad. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. And then we took you over there and you, you knelt down and you said a really, really nice prayer to Granddaddy. Yeah. It was awfully sweet and I have that on film. The The... I have it on film what you said, but that's that's just for the family. That's not for anybody else. So I am going to do another video about my dad, but there's a lot of uh, issues and legal things going on, and I really can't do that right now. But when that's over, we're going to do a really nice video for Granddaddy. Okay? So anyways, let's lighten it up a little bit. What is your favorite... What is your favorite holiday and why? Uh, this is everyone's favorite holiday of all time. What is it? Everyone, uh, I think the best holiday is probably to go with Christmas. Christmas? And why? Because it's all everyone's favorite holiday all the time. Does that mean it has to be your favorite holiday? Yeah, my favorite holiday of all time. He also said it's Christmas is better than Halloween. I think our gimbal's going a little loopy here. 
It's. It also says what? You also said that Christmas is better than Halloween. Halloween for some reason. Well, I like it because it's a holiday to celebrate what? Jesus is what? Birthday. Right. So that's why I really like it. But let me get the gimbal straightened out here. Hold on. I got it all kinds of loopiness. <laughs> it's all loopy. Okay, so so you you really think Christmas is your favorite holiday? Christmas is my favorite holiday too. It really is. It's my favorite favorite holiday. And I think that Halloween is a lot of fun too. But because Christmas lasts so long and it's such a happy time, that that's really my favorite holiday. So. Um, I don't want her to do anything. We had a dog sneaking up on us and we're trying to film and we don't want our dog to go crazy so somebody is not watching their dog. She's just a tiny little thing and she just ran up. What did she look like? How looks like a raccoon at first. A what? A raccoon at first. A raccoon? <laughs> so, anyways, um... I think I just wanted to have a quick conversation with you, okay? Because there's so many good things about having conversations with autism and kids with autism. They have You have such good insight. Do you know what that means? It means you really think about things in a really cool way. Like you look at things and a lot of people don't look at things like you do. You look at things really super cool. And I like, love that about you. I love that about you. So, it's just something that's really, really cool. And I just want you to know that. Okay? Mm hmm? Yeah. So, I guess that's probably it. You have anything else you want to say? No. Hmm? No. We can say. Let me let me clip a new video. Hope you guys like this conversation. Like we said, we're gonna be doing one a day, Joshua. Can we do one a day? Yeah. You think? Mm, I don't know. You think? You think? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna try. Stay with us because we are gonna definitely try. We will have two to three out, two to three a week, every week, and we're gonna do vlogmas. That's one a day. And Joshua has a channel too. Check out the description box and go check out his channel. Tell him what your channel is. I can't say. Why? I just don't want to spoil it. You don't want to spoil what? I just want. I just don't want to spoil it. You don't want to spoil what? The name. Is... <laughs> wow, that was some, that was, oh, oh we got to tell them about Joshua's. Joshua's campaign to get on what? Disney. Disney Channel, right? Yeah. Joshua wants to be on Disney Channel. So we're going to make a video. We're going to put together a video and we're going to send it to Disney because why not? Why not? Why shouldn't kids with autism be on Disney, right? Yeah. If you guys think that's a great idea, like the video. Let us know. And uh, We'll let you know when we're going to do the video, and we will definitely share the video that we do, right? You're going to put together something. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to do it himself because he cuts and edits his, all his own videos. So I might just help you a little bit with the shooting. But, yeah, so stay tuned for that and like the video if you think that's a great idea because I think it's a great idea. I think you're definitely a Disney kid. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Say so see you later.
Say bye. bye. See ya. Peace.